Yo, what is going on guys? It's Enduring Agon here, and today I bring you guys a video on the best way to level up in Black Ops 3 during double XP. So I'm going to be doing a separate video on the best way to level up in Black Ops 3 in general. But since it's double XP weekend, I know it is Sunday, the last day of double XP. I actually meant to make this video for Friday to be uploaded, but I've been working and it's just I've never had time for the past two days to actually upload this I'm uploading it today and you know if you guys watch it today before double XP ends and you guys are gonna be playing until it ends you guys have a little bit more information for now and also for the next time we actually have double XP so I'm sorry about that but I'll jump into it the best way to level up during double XP is definitely to play Nuketown and I know some people don't like Nuketown you know I'm I'm funky with Nuketown because I get some good games some bad games you know it's the name of the game it's Call of Duty but also it's a small map and it's kinda crazy you know grenades flying everywhere and everything but it really is Nuketown you guys want to be playing Nuketown and it's difficult like I said playing it all the time but trust me guys towards the end of double XP weekend you're gonna be thanking yourself that you played Nuketown because you level up like crazy and I'm gonna show you guys at the end of this match I have the after action report of how much XP I get it is ridiculous and I don't do amazing to be honest with you I think I have like 14 defends four captures and I think I went 46 and 24 so it's nothing spectacular but with those 14 defends with double XP on and everything that it makes it it's ridiculous how much XP you get but I really guys you need to play Nuketown and they have I believe it's team deathmatch kill confirmed domination hardpoint uplink and safeguard I think those are all the game modes that they have in it and it's really really good that you guys play Nuketown like I said you guys level up like crazy I know a lot of people like I said don't like playing it but you guys really should be doing that and also while you're playing Nuketown really look for easy challenges to do like I know there are some for just career kills obviously that will come in time but obviously try out different guns don't just be using the same exact gun and I believe in this game I actually get the KN44 gold so that's 5000 XP just for getting it gold then obviously for the last camo that I needed for I think that was like 3000 or 2500 XP so that all gets doubled and it's just crazy because you guys definitely want to be doing challenges obviously that's just also like the best way to level up too is you know check your challenges but sp just because it's Nuketown you know try out different weapons try to rank up a bunch of guns you know especially SMGs stuff like that whatever kind of guns you guys prefer use them you guys could be using shotguns snipers combat knife only if you wanted to you could be using I've actually met a bunch of people in Nuketown using combat knife only and let me tell you I've died off my score streaks a bunch of stuff I died off them just because of a combat knife and it's ridiculous but you know really look at those challenges it really does come in handy like I said just because it's Nuketown you guys can get those challenges done way faster if you guys were playing a normal game of like kill confirmed or domination you guys will be playing on those big maps but if you guys play on Nuketown you guys can get like twice the amount of kills because it's a small map and also you know it's double XP so take advantage of these challenges don't wait for the last minute of double XP to like oh let me check my challenges and you're so close and you get like one of them done when you really could have gotten like 10 challenges done and that probably could have added up to maybe 50,000 XP like that is ridiculous how much XP that is so you guys really want to take you know account for your challenges like I said, play Nuketown, that's the best thing, and just, you know, try different weapons, that's what I've been doing, I've been going for golden guns lately, and I can tell that actually, that's been helping me rank up fast, you know, I know it's headshots, and you know, you might die a lot, but once you get it done, it actually does help out in the long run with the XP, but since it's double XP, I'm trying to stay away from doing all the headshot kills for golden guns, but... The gameplay is going to be coming to an in a little bit, but like I said, those are the main things you guys want to be looking for in double XP because it really does help. And like I said, not everyone is a fan of Newtown, and I actually thought about this. In this game, there's less coverage, which I actually like. There's less cover in this game for Newtown, and which is really really cool because a lot of people like to camp. But you know, it's Newtown. It's crazy. There's gonna be grenades flying around you. All the score streaks going on. It's crazy. Like in here, someone already has wraps. I don't run high score streaks because I don't feel like it's it's needed during double XP because I want to run the low score streaks, rank up fast. But you're gonna see I do go like I said, 46 and 24 with four captures and 14 defense. And in, on a normal game, that probably would have given me maybe 20,000, maybe 25,000 XP. So it's that's actually not bad for a normal game without double XP on. But you guys are going to see all the XP I got. You're going to see the challenges, the golden gun, all this XP I got. And you guys are going to see the total of how much I got. And look at 71,000 XP. And look, I rank up 
almost so close to three times, and that's ridiculous. You guys need to be playing Nuketown. It really does help you guys out a lot. But as always, guys, if you guys get all, please leave a thumbs up. That would mean the world to me. Also, hit that subscribe button for more Call of Duty videos. And as always, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.